I mentioned the stat that half of small business owners fail within five years. Mm. Part of the reason I'm so excited about bringing this technology to the Americas is that I know, and all of our data, both here in this part of the world and in our um, markets within the UK and Australia and New Zealand show that if we have a small business owner and they are connected to a bookkeeper or an accountant and they're running on zero, 85% of them, 85% make it past year five and they grow profits 23% faster than businesses that aren't taking advantage of latest technology and aren't connected to an advisor. You're listening to The Successful Bookkeeper with your host, Michael Palmer. Listen each week as inspiring guests share their secrets of success to help you increase your confidence, work smarter, and build a business you love. This episode of The Successful Bookkeeper is brought to you by purebookkeeping.com, the proven system to grow your bookkeeping business. Welcome back to the Successful Bookkeeper Podcast. I am your host, Michael Palmer, and today's show is going to be a terrific one. Our guest is the president of one of the fastest growing software as a service companies in the world, Zero Americas. She is passionate about helping small business owners and entrepreneurs succeed as well, has an incredible story of her journey and her career that she's going to share with us today. Carrie Goman, welcome to the podcast. Thanks so much, Michael. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's great to have you. And I'm really thankful that you uh, devoted some of your day. I know it's a super busy day running a very large organization like this. So we all appreciate it. And I know our listeners do. Excellent. Now, before we get off to things, can you give us a little bit about yourself and, and tell us how you came to be heading up Zero Americas? Yeah, I'm happy to. You know, I have spent my career in financial services. And while it wasn't exactly where I thought I was going to spend my time, what I found myself doing is that I was attracted to these incredibly complex industries that are deeply in need of transformation and yet incredibly important. So I found myself attracted to industries like insurance and investing and banking and lending and now accounting. And and these are spaces that really matter and they really need to work for both consumers and business owners. Uh, And in particular, I really found myself excited about supporting entrepreneurs because I was always just so inspired by their dreams and ambitions, their risk-taking, their tenacity. And I found that I could make a big difference because financial services was really broken for business owners. And uh, I spent the last eight years actually at Capital One leading small business for the bank. And I got to know Zero as a partner. And I was blown away by the way the technology made doing business simpler. And it brought together all the key pieces of the financial economy. So the banking with business management tools, and most importantly, with advice which we often forget. It's not just about the technology. It's often about advice. And I wanted to be a part of the journey. I got to know Rod and I said, I've got to be a part of this. I think I can make a real difference for business owners here in the Americas and particularly in the U.S. That's great. I love your story working, you know, from an executive level, but for working with really large organizations, but those organizations that are helping small business owners and entrepreneurs, which is a really cool angle as well you know, doing a little bit of research on, on you as well. You, you've you've worked with supporting small business owners from micro lending and nonprofits, as well as being a leader uh, a leader on the council of Kiva. That's that's really outstanding. Absolutely. Has has that always been something that you have been passionate about? You know, it's interesting. I grew up in a corporate family, and um, I had the opportunity, as many of us do, to get to know entrepreneurs that were either family members, they were friends. And I just started to hear more and more stories of the complexity and the challenge of financial management. In fact, the bigger businesses get, the more complicated it gets. 
and how difficult it is to make it. And uh, in particular, I have one very good friend who makes jewelry and she has been enormously successful, but her big challenges are all around dealing with the finances because she's an artist. And it's those kinds of stories uh, that really inspired me. And, you know, you hear these stats that half of small businesses in the Americas fail by five years. And they cite financial management as one of the key reasons they struggle. And this is a place where, you know, I really felt like my understanding of financial management and the kinds of companies that I joined could could really make a difference. Mm, I, I completely agree. I think everybody here would completely agree with that statement. And so it's it's uh, it's exciting to have somebody that's working on on, a, on it on that level. Tell us a little bit about your duties as the Zero America's president and how how does that impact our audience, our audience of bookkeepers? Yeah, I um, I have a great job because I get to bring this amazing technology. You know, Zero was the first cloud-based accounting software, and I get to bring this great and latest technology to accountants and bookkeepers and small business owners here in this part of the world because the company was started in the Southern Hemisphere. So I get the opportunity to bring it to this part of the world and then support the technology with real people that are helping drive transformation, both for the accountants and bookkeepers and for the small business owners. And so we have software that supports the business side uh, for the small business owner and the accountant. So a whole suite of tools to help a bookkeeper work with that small business owner on a shared ledger and connect all the parts of their financial ecosystem. And what I'm really inspired about here in this part of the world, I mentioned the stat that half of small business owners fail within five years. Mm. Part of the reason I'm so excited about bringing this technology to the Americas is that I know, and all of our data, both here in this part of the world and in our um, markets within the UK and Australia, New Zealand show that if we have a small business owner, and they are connected to a bookkeeper or an accountant, and they're running on zero, 85% of them, 85% make it past year five, and they grow profits 23% faster than businesses that aren't taking advantage of latest technology and aren't connected to an advisor. And that really becomes a key thing. We strongly believe that it is critical and a driver of success that a small business owner have a relationship with a bookkeeper or an accountant who can help be an advisor to them. And here in this market, only 32% of small business owners have that relationship. So we're all about creating technology that can bring that advising together so that an accountant and a small business owner together can increase the odds of success. So it's a really cool opportunity that I have to bring something so powerful to this part of the world and really make a difference for you know my neighbor, my friend, and our community. Well, that is, I mean, an incredible statistic. And I mean, from a perspective of your messaging really is encouraging business owners to to develop a relationship with their bookkeeper, to be to be an advisor. And I, I think that that's exciting. And uh, I think it's a fresh look on how technology or a, par- a vendor really in the marketplace, you're not just a vendor, you're looking to be a partner, not only for the businesses that run your software, but the ecosystem of those businesses. So yeah. I think that's exciting. And listen, I, I mean, here, I believe that small businesses you know, they're the reason why our countries are great. You know, it's why it's why we exactly. have the freedoms that we have, right? They create new jobs, they provide innovation, and they build thriving communities. And so any anyone who's standing up taking a stand for small business, they're friends of me and friends of the successful bookkeeper. So and I just love your your attitude towards that. Now Absolutely. You, we we talked a little bit about your personal life and what you, you know, as a woman executive, what you've had to deal with. And there's, I want you to share more of, it's not just being a woman executive, a family, a husband and lots going on. I'd love to hear your take in terms of how you keep all, all of it together and still able to lead this, this company forward. Yeah. Well, obviously I take my day-to-day inspiration in doing work that makes a difference. Like many of your bookkeepers and listeners 
you know, the reality is when you know you go to work every day and you've got the secret sauce that can help someone really be successful who's pursuing their dreams, that's motivating every day. Mm. Uh, but as you and I know, to have a successful business life, it also means that you want to have the right support in your personal life. And, you know, I'm a wife and a mother of three. And I feel really fortunate to really do two things. One is I've been lucky in life to have a teammate and a partner. My husband actually is a stay-at-home spouse, which I know not everyone has the luxury of doing. Uh, We did it early in our lives and made the necessary financial adjustments, but it's been wonderful to have that partnership. Other people have support through family and friends. And you know, when you're running a business, when you are an executive um, or a leader, having the right support network is key. I think the other thing that's been, you know, really uh, great and fortunate in my career, particularly with this last move to zero, is choosing a company to work with and to be a part of, whether, you know, whether you're leading your own company or you're joining a company that really is supportive of having a full work-life kind of integration and balance and one that really supports uh, you doing the things you need to be successful in both life and work and, and having that sort of full picture put together makes a huge difference. And Zero is exactly that kind of company. Um, we actually have a 50-50 board uh, and Rod is our CEO. Rod Rory is really passionate about making sure we have female representation all the way at the top. We have 50-50 executives in the company leading the global organization uh, and then all throughout the company. And that sort of diversity and balance is really important. And we want to make sure that we represent our community uh, that we serve, our accountants, our bookkeepers, and our business owners as well. So it's been wonderful to both be able to uh, set myself up in life, but also to choose a company that's very supportive of the things that, uh, that are important to me and to our employees here at Zero. Mm, that's fantastic. And thank you for sharing a bit about your personal life and, and, uh, and how you're some of the things that you're you're doing and leveraging to to make it all work, and it sounds like one of those is, I mean, zero is a very supportive and an environment really that that'll enable that to actually happen, which is which is not the case for every single company out there. That is for sure. I, as we're hearing, right? Unfortunately, yes, unfortunately, but things things are changing and the change comes. But speaking That's about right. pe- people's lives and how how they're impacted, let's talk a little bit about what a bookkeeper who has maybe not used Zero, what can they expect the impact to be on their life when they're using a product like Zero? I'm so glad you asked that because, you know, when you're using and taking advantage of technology, it allows you to both be successful in your business, but it also creates great opportunities to build the kind of business that really works for your lifestyle and your needs as well. And Zero definitely does that for our community of, of bookkeepers and accountants. And it also really dramatically changes the way a small business owner runs. And the way I'd like to think about Zero, and remember, at its core, it's a great and beautiful accounting software and set of tools for the small business owner and the accountant to work virtually together. But it's also a platform that connects banking and business management apps and that sort of day-to-day virtual interaction with an accountant or bookkeeper. And so Xero really drives both efficiency in how you work on a day-to-day basis in your workflows, but it also creates some tools and some insights so that if you're a bookkeeper or an accountant, you can also serve back to your business owner incredible insights on how they can do work better and more efficiently within their own business. And I think about that on really two parts. One, and I'll share some stats with you that are just mind-boggling, and then I'll share an example or two as well. And again, we do all the work. You know, we're developers and engineers and accountants, and so we're looking to really apply the latest technology, AI, and machine learning for towards those workflows. And so we see that when bookkeepers and accountants move 100% on the cloud and they take full advantage of the technology in linking all of these apps that I just mentioned, they see 80% faster growth in their own businesses. Their employees get so much efficiency that they can see, they can take on five times the clients per employee. So that's straight efficiency. So we would expect that I know. It's just incredible. And so this is on the bookkeeper side. That's not even thinking through what the impact is to the small business owner. And as I mentioned, it's helping their small business owners be more efficient. So the bookkeeper can take on more clients and a lot of the tasks 
again, automated that historically were really, really time consuming. Then we want to take all of that great sort of new time and the, you know, bookkeeper can apply that to doing things differently in there and balancing out their business or their personal life. But we also want to create opportunities for many bookkeepers and accountants to add advisory services. And when you add advisory services, you see twice the revenue per employee and 90% more revenue per client. And so our focus is on creating not just the tools to do that and to see those kinds of gains, but also the community and the, like the support, the people that can help these you know, bookkeepers and accountants transform their practice. So that's really what a bookkeeper and accountant can expect. Now, it still takes a transition to change the way you work. We get that. And so part of what we provide is a lot of support from real humans to help bookkeepers and accountants take advantage of that technology. Um, I'll share an example, if if you don't mind, of of one of our clients. Um, I love examples. There are. I, I, we do too. Uh, and I have tons of them. So one of our clients is being counter for hire. Uh, in fact, they just won one of our awards for partner of the year. And what they told us is they essentially use Zero and HubDoc, which is a way to automate a Canadian firm that automates all of the entry, right? From all your bills and things like that for your clients. Um, that's the core of their service. And they use payroll. They use uh, folks that are integrated into Zero that are in our ecosystem, Gusto and T Sheets, and that allows them to service their customer at a very low price, right? So it doesn't cost them much. They're able to send some savings on to their small business owners, but they're also able to do things like get really specific in e-commerce. So they're able to customize an e-commerce stack using A2X, Shopify, TaxJar, and streamline their accounting and increase transparency to e-commerce customers. So not only can they provide base services, now they're able to offer specialties and verticals, which you just can't do if it cost effectively without the latest technology. They've gone completely to the cloud, and so they're getting the kinds of benefits I mentioned from efficiency, and they're able to interact. They only interact with their customers virtually. And that allows them not only to serve their clients more efficiently, but they can serve clients all over the United States and Canada. So they're not limited to just their geographic location. So we have lots of examples of this. And, and, you know, what's amazing about our community is that folks like Bean Counters for Hire are willing to share their learnings with other bookkeepers or other accountants who are looking to transform their practice. And we try to bring those folks together to learn from one another. But just an exciting story of efficiency and growth all wrapped into one, just taking advantage of the latest technology. Wow. So exciting. And, you know, as you mentioned, there is work to be done to to, to, to do anything, <laughs> really. And yet yeah. the, the outcome, the gain, the benefit is just so big. I mean, we're talking about 80% lift in in productivity um, as one of the numbers that you, you stated. So it, yeah. you know, it's exciting. I mean, the community the technology, where it's all going, helping not only bookkeepers and accountants, but also business owners do a better job of what they're trying to do and and keep the finances clear and up to date and intelligent. So that's exciting. Yes. Now, a little bit about you know, there's other there's other products in the marketplace, right? Like QuickBooks Online. How do you set yourself apart from QuickBooks Online? There's three things I would point out. First is we are really the first cloud-based accounting software out there. And we really believe in taking advantage of the latest technology. And so with us, you're going to get the most innovative, the most up-to-date technologies, really taking advantage of things like, that sounds scary like machine learning, but where we apply it is to do things like account reconciliation, making those tasks simpler and easier that historically have been very time consuming. So we're truly the first innovator in the accounting space and continue to be. The second thing is we know that changing technology can be tough. And so we provide the support, both the people within Zero to help convert and adopt the technology and take advantage of it, right? Signing up is just step one. And also the community of support for one another. And the third thing I'd mention, which is really important, is that we believe in the bookkeeper and the accountant. 
And we believe that that advice is critical and working together on that shared ledger is important. So when we get a client or a small business owner that signs up for zero and they don't have an accounting relationship, our number one focus is to get them together with someone who can support them because we know it will increase their odds of success and in fact, help them thrive. And we believe that's really important. And that community helps enable that entire thing. And that is about accountants and bookkeepers sharing best practices together. We have many events that we host that Zero is not even involved in. We sometimes use our offices, but we have folks that host things like Zero Hours in 21 cities. And what happens in each of these is that people get together that are, you know, like-minded and help each other on their journey. And one of our advisors gave a, said a quote yesterday that I thought was so great, uh, that it is the most tangible real-world forum for advisors. And when we get people together, they start sharing and helping each other. Two of our clients that are in Canada, Raj Balab from Positive Accounting and Chad Davis from Live CA, uh, they shared a story with me, and I, I shared it actually at our annual event called ZeroCon. And, you know, Raj had reached out to Chad through the network when he signed up for Zero in the first place and wasn't sure how to get started or how to take advantage. Chad actually spent time giving him all of his tips and tricks, sharing the process of getting set up. And now that they've gotten to know each other, they regularly call on each other. But really interestingly, and, and you don't always see this happen in these communities outside of Zero, but um, the Zero community, this happens a lot. Raj and Chad actually pass each other business. So when one of them's too busy or it's a better fit for the other firm, and that happens everywhere. So this sort of idea of how do you create a community where accountants and bookkeepers help each other, not just zero helping, uh, but also a, a community like the one that you have created, really get together and support one another. So it's just exciting, uh, but it really is what makes zero special and unique, and it is very tangible. You know, it's, it's great. It's very, I mean, it, the community rings true. It's so powerful when you can have people acting that way in a community. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's exciting. Tell us a little bit about, because you mentioned ZeroCon. Tell us a little bit about ZeroCon yeah. and, and, you know, why should people be buying a ticket and coming along? <laughs> ZeroCon is a really fun event, first of all, and it's a really educational event. And we find that so we just had our last Zerocon in December in Austin, Texas. Our next one's coming up actually this summer in Atlanta. And you, actually, tickets just went on sale. Uh, but what's really cool is folks get together. These are folks who either are incredibly modern, they've been using Zero for a while, they're really uh, technology forward, or sometimes they're folks that are and uh, bookkeepers and accountants that are just starting to think about their journey and want to learn more about zero or more about technology and tips and tricks. And so we think about zero as a place for folks to get to spend time with each other, to build that community that I mentioned. It's a place to learn about the latest technology, the latest vendors. Uh, it's a place to be inspired and excited. And it is also a really fun group of people and it's often been referred to as the Coachella for accountants as well, which is really funny, but it is it is a very fun event. We create both formal and informal opportunities for people to get to know each other. And people really are doing incredible work through that event. And if some of your listeners are already zeros, I'd encourage them to come and, and learn more. And then for those folks who are even thinking about and wanting to learn about the latest technology, it's a really easy way to hear from other people who've been on the journey about what works and what doesn't. Now, you called them zeros. These are the, the community members, zeros? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. yeah, both community members and our team members, we're all in it together. And You're all uh, zeros. It is, both are, <laughs> we're all zeros. In fact, I um, before I joined Zero, when I was with Capital One, I actually had a chance to speak at a ZeroCon, and I walked the floor, and I was like, man, these people, are they share my passion for small business, they're accountants and bookkeepers who are just really interesting. And they have innovative business practices. I was blown away. And that certainly didn't hurt my desire to be with Zero. I, I wanted to be a part of that community. And yeah, it feels really special when you find a group of people who share the same values, the same interests, and want to help each other. 
Well, I think it speaks to the innovation and, and disruptiveness of the organization that they can have the world and their community wanting to be called zeros. I mean, that's awesome, right? It's so cool. <laughs> and uh, it's the one time in, in one's life that you're going to say, yeah, I'm a zero and be proud of it. So it, it really, <laughs> exactly. I mean, I, I've uh, met a lot of zeros and they are really committed community. And so I, yeah. I, I echo that. And we're really excited because we're we're actually putting together standard operating procedures for zero, both in Canada and the United States, which we're launching this year. So it's just about providing right. streamlined workflows, process improvement. So not only the lift that you're going to get from using a great technology like zero, but as well, productivity lift and improvement from using standard operating procedures that have been tested by hundreds of other bookkeepers. So we're, we're really excited about that, putting a lot of effort and investment in doing that. Ah, oh, fantastic. We'd really love to hear, I'm sure the audience, and especially the zeros that are listening, any secret product updates that you can give us that are coming. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I have a amazing list for many of our zeros who really um, have ideas or thoughts that they want to incorporate. And also, just like your standard operating procedures, we look for the best, most innovative firms and put that right into the software so that we can take full advantage of it. So I can't give away any secrets. We had an amazing set of launches in December with new expenses and projects and a new self-employed zero plus C offering. So what I can tell your listeners is that I promise you will not be disappointed if you join us in ZeroCon Atlanta to hear uh, what's next. But uh, I am absolutely not going to spill the beans quite yet. But know that many of your fellow zeros are actually giving us our list. Beautiful. Well, that's exciting. And I mean, I will say about any industry event like this, and I know I've heard great things about ZeroCon, just attending an event like that and hanging out with people yeah. like the zero community and is an incredibly smart investment. So listener, if you are a zero or you want to be one, I highly recommend planning this for your year. Get there to this big community. It will give you a shot in the arm for your business, for your confidence, and for your desire to, to be great at what you do. I mean, being good is good, but being great is awesome. Right. So, uh, yeah. so, so great. So Carrie, this has been absolutely great. I've loved getting to know you. And I, I just have to say, you know, we talk about all the time to our community and in many, many podcast episodes, we've talked about how to attract great people into your business as customers. And one of the key things is they, they need to know you, they need to like you, they need to yeah. trust you. And I think it's been great sharing yourself here on this community and on this podcast, because I think that's what we've accomplished today is really, you're a, a great person doing some really great things in the world. And that's the type of people that work at, uh, at zero. So what a, a great opportunity for our listener to get to know you and as well for, uh, you know, zero and yourself to have our audience be aware of what you're up to. Thanks so much, Michael. I appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Well, thank you for being on the show. That wraps another episode of the Successful Bookkeeper podcast and what a fun one it was to learn more about today's guest and to get access to all sorts of valuable free business building resources. You can go to the successful bookkeeper.com. Until next time. Goodbye. You've been listening to The Successful Bookkeeper with Michael Palmer. For more information and to download the resources mentioned in this episode, please visit us at thesuccessfulbookkeeper.com. Thank you for listening.